Hello, hello, hello. I'd like to congratulate uh, the Indianapolis Colts for a great Super Bowl run. I'd like to congratulate the New Orleans Saints for winning the Super Bowl. Good luck for you next season. Got that out the way. Now, um, a lot of people are upset because I did that China video. I comb my hair too. So the truth remains the same. Um, you know, we here in America complain about everything um, and our quest to make things better for people in the workplace. We've outsourced all of our jobs away. Um, I can say a million more things, but <clears throat> the bottom line is this. How much money will the Super Bowl being won by the Saints actually help the city of New Orleans? That is the next question. It's like all the millions of dollars poured in to, you know, Louisiana after Katrina. What happened to the money? How come it never trickled down to the poorest of the people? So you take what I just said and you quantify it by Haiti. So you take all the money that's been donated and pushed into Haiti and how much is actually trickling down to the people? Uh, I saw somewhere on the news where uh, Presidents Bush and Clinton, I think they had like 18 million or something, or something million, or I'm like, is that all y'all scraped up? Was it 18 a million, or I don't know. It, put it like this based on the numbers you've been seeing coming from all over the world and different places. Haiti has enough money damn near to pay back its deficit. If that indeed was going to be the case to actually help Haiti. And I was also thinking because um, America poured their hearts into Haiti. Why don't we do a telethon to fix our national debt? Why don't we do a telethon for America? Do a telethon for the economy. Do a telethon for jobs. <laughs> Getting thin in there, huh? Is it just too curly to be real? What do we do? Can we do a telethon to save America? Can we do a telethon to for health care? Can we do a telethon to get a new president? Can we do a telethon to get a new Congress? Can we get a telethon to get a new House of Representatives? Can we get a telethon to build another party so there's actually four but one will actually count for something? Can we actually do a telethon to help each other? I don't see George Clooney breaking his neck to fix America. Farm Aid. Nice try, boys. Bureaucracy. We need to help us one time. You now, predictions are we won't even be able to buy food at the end of the year. Those are predictions. Okay? Um, where's the logic in not helping ourselves one time? Did I say congratulations to the Oakland Raiders this year? I didn't. So, I just want to make sure that everybody understands the significance of what something means. So, when I watch the Super Bowl and what does it mean for the city of New Orleans? Okay, what does it mean? It means that you have a Super Bowl championship football team. The players get paid good money. The owner apparently gets paid for real money. Every single person who buys a jersey, a hat, anything with that logo on it, has always been taken care of. A certain group of people in that community. I'm not 
not trying to throw no salt on no wounds. But I'm trying to wake up the people who are blinded with thinking that, okay, this is great for the city. The owner gets paid, the money trickles down to the T. Taxes are paid. Revenue goes up, higher taxes are paid. If that's all it means for the city, then who cares? Getting back to the two presidents that earned 18, 20 million or whatever, 100 million or whatever, 100, I don't know. Where's that money going? How's that trickling down to the people? What does that mean when we donate beyond our means to another group of people to better themselves? Look at how much money Haiti produced before this incident. Look how much it has pulled in because of this incident. The people should be treated a hell of a lot better than they are. Things should be getting fixed because there's money to have them fixed. Maybe they should build another airstrip so they can start flying in contractors from around the world to rebuild. I don't know. I don't. I really don't. I know I got to work on a music program for Big Bear and Fusion 107. I know how to do that. I know I remix this video for this guy that I have to take down probably around midnight tonight. And I have no copy of that. It's like a child. You better copy it or you, it's gone. Um, on all we do, we have, we have Muslims, we have Christians, we have Jews, we have Scientologists, we have all these religious people, and what is that based on? Money? How come these religions ain't jumping out there to fix these things, these problems of mankind? Money? So, I don't know. You donate millions of dollars. Your team wins the championship. What does it all mean? Who's helping who, baby? Who that hiding over there in the grassy knoll? So, what do we do? We root for our favorite team. We root for our favorite players. Disaster comes, we give our last penny. And we sit back and bitch about things at home as we go starving. As we fade away in that nuclear winter that we call our economy. What do we do? We can hold a concert for this. We can hold an event for that. But we can't build a hospital for the homeless. <coughs> we are the world for Haiti. So, what do we do? What does it all mean? And what is a football game if it's only a moral victory? Only if it's a reason to rally? What is a game but a game? Did I say congratulations to the Golden State Warriors? No. You can slap your own team upside the head a million times if they're not playing good. But the fact remains the same. I can be up, upset about both of my teams. I can be sad about the state of the San Francisco Giants and my beloved Oakland Raiders. I can be real upset about the plight of Monte Ellis and the Golden State Warriors. But what is a game if all I'm getting is hype from it? I feel good when I'm at the game and I'm rooting my team on. But what does it mean when they win? I don't know. So congratulations to the game. From my secret location in the Swiss Alps, I'm out.